Hi, welcome to my Sitecore 9.1 initial release installation video. Please visit my blog at kimmj.com slash blog slash Sitecore 9.1 dash installation. The link to my post is available in the description below. The first link directs you to the Sitecore 9.1 initial release page, where you can download the installation media. Scroll down to download options for on-premise deployment and click on packages for XP single. If you're not logged in already, it will ask you to do so. After logging in, click on the link again and accept the terms and condition. The installation media file will start to download. Once it has been downloaded, move it to a folder. For this installation, I will use the folder I created under C, Sitecore, Install. Extract the zip folder. Go into the extracted folder, then extract XP0 configuration file zip. Make sure all 13 files are stored in a single location. I saved mine under C, Sitecore, install, Sitecore 9.1.0. You also need a Sitecore license to install. If you don't already have one, you can request a 60-day trial license from Sitecore. The link is available on my blog post. I will paste my existing license.xml file to my installation folder. You should have 14 files in total, including the license file. Next, you need to install Microsoft SQL Server 2016 SP2 or greater. I will download and install the 2017 version, but the process should be identical for the 2016 version. Once the SQL Server is downloaded, the SQL Server Installation Center will open. Click on the Installation tab located on the sidebar. Then click on New SQL Server Standalone Installation. Press Next and agree to Terms and Conditions. Press Next. Press Next. Press Next. Click the Select All button, then uncheck the Polybase Query Service feature. Press Next. Press Next. Press Next. Check the Mixed Mode box, then enter your desired password. Please remember this password as you will need this later during the Sitecore installation. Press the Add Current User button. You should also note the prefix of the current user which was just added. Desktop HE12T97 in my case. You will also need this later. Add current user, then press next. Press next. Press next. Press next. Press next. Accept and press next. Finally, accept once more, then press next.
Finally, press install. This will take a while. I sped up this process by 100 times. Close the setup process once it's done. I also installed SQL Server Management Studio. This isn't required, but it may come in handy in the future. Next, follow the link for Java installation. You may already have Java, but it is likely 32-bit. It is recommended that you get the 64-bit version of Java. Click on the Windows Offline 64-bit download link, then install it. Next, download install-solar-721.zip file from my post. I created this one-click solar installation script based on Jeremy Davis's low-effort solar installation script. Please check out this blog post if you're interested. Once you have downloaded the zip file, unzip it, then run the bat file. It will download Solar 7.2.1 automatically and create a service using the non-sucking service manager. Next, run the following commands on PowerShell as administrator. These commands will automatically install Cycro installation framework, known as SIF, then update it to the latest version. You should also run set execution policy remote signed command, but I totally forgot about it. You will get an error later on if you don't do this now, so I recommend you do it now. You will see me getting an error and then fixing it using this command later on in this video. Once you are done installing SIF, you should download SIFless. It's an amazing tool for installing Sitecore 9.0 or later. Please visit rockpaperscitecore.com if you're interested in this tool. You can simply download it using the link. Once it is downloaded, unzip it and move it to the Sitecore installation folder. Run syphilis.exe, then update it by clicking on Check for Updates button then double clicking on out of date slash missing files. Click on the fix selected button and then close the update window. Click on the manage button beside Sitecore profile section. Press on add profile, name the profile SC91. Select the 9.1 initial release from the version drop-down menu, then select XP0 from the topology drop-down menu. Select the license.xml file from the installation folder. See Sitecore install Sitecore 9.1.0 folder in my case. Then set the data file repository, which is under the folder where my license.xml file is. Again, that's C Sitecore install Sitecore 9.1.0 folder. Click on the Manager button beside the Connection Profile section. Press Add Profile. Name this SC91 as well. Enter the server name. It's Desktop HE12T97 in my case. 
it will most likely be your desktop or server name if you follow my steps. You can find it under About Your PC section on Windows 10. Enter SA under Login and the password you set while installing the Microsoft SQL Server. Finally, add the solar profile. Name it Solar721. Enter https colon slash slash solar colon 8983 slash solar for the solar URL. Select solar-7.2.1 from the solar service drop-down menu. Select the solar core path. This is under C, Sitecore, Solar, Solar-7.2.1. Once all three profiles are made, select each profile from the drop-down menus. You can edit the install prefix to whatever you want. I kept the default, but you might want to change it to Sitecore 91, SC91, your project name, or anything else. Press Generate and Run. Press Save. Check the Force Prereq check checkbox before running. Press Run it. This is the error I got for not running the set execution policy remote signed command before. I fixed this error by going to the PowerShell and admin mode, then running the command. I resume the installation process by selecting all the profiles I created, then running with force pre -reg check. This will take a while. You may encounter some errors in the way, just like I have. Simply run the profile again without force prereq check, and it will resume where it left off. I encountered two errors during my installation. For the second error, it seems like Solar was not starting up in time after script's stop Solar command was run. The script times out before the solar service gets the chance to be fully loaded. I assume it's something similar for the first error. Once this step is over, you should now have Sitecore 9.1 installed. 